Cross obviously gave us everything we can handle. We were very fortunate to win the game. Uh, coach Carmody has been a great coach for a long time at Princeton and Northwestern and took Holy Cross to the NCAA tournament. So offensively, there's no one better coached in terms of execution than Holy Cross. And he really made us work and got good shots. And, uh, uh, and they're playing all zone this year. They've struggled some defensively, but they did tonight. We really have to do better with our zone offense. Uh, the other thing is we just, uh, the, the spirit was willing, but the flesh was weak. That game yesterday took a lot out of us. And B.J. Johnson is in superb physical condition, and he just uh, didn't have a whole lot left in the tank today. So we hung on. Uh, I think any time you win at this level, uh, you should feel good. Uh, and, uh, you know, we hung on on a night when uh, we were playing a, a really discippointed team offensively and defensively and, and uh, where we were subpar. So we, we hung on, I'm proud of the guys just hanging on. Uh, their effort was there, well, I'm telling you, we just were exhausted and we didn't attack the zone very well. Questions for Pookie? Uh, Pookie, for you, like to come over here and finish with the win after yesterday's disappointment, how does it feel to have been able to bounce back after such a short turnaround? It feels okay, even though we lost the game yesterday, we came over here to come to first place, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So, I mean, I guess it's, we, um, <clears throat> we're just enjoying the experience over here. Um, Key ain't got his family over here, so we're just enjoying that. That's all. And uh, Coach, obviously, you got the W today. Two huge games coming up next week with Drexel and Villanova. Do you feel the experience of this week and that week will help you going into your next two games? Yeah, we played two rushing games and we learned lessons. We learned lessons that when there's three seconds left in the game or the half or a shot clock, you know, that the only thing the other guy can do is shoot a three. And we gave up a couple threes in those games and we learned our free throw box outs are a problem. We learned we have to attack the zone better. Uh, we learned, uh, uh, you know, with the lead, they got a jump ball on us there. When we were up four, we learned that when we have the lead, you don't have to push the ball up the court and, and get trapped. So, you know, you learn from those experiences. It's early in the year, and there's no replacement for game experience. So hopefully, I, I think I know that we'll learn from those experiences. And I think we'll get fresh physically, too. And obviously, the experience in Belfast, how have you found it yourself, Coach? It's, you know, my, my family's been here three times. Uh, it's my first. Uh, my youngest daughter uh, had to be dissuaded from moving here. She wanted to go to college here, and we just quite weren't ready for that. But I could see why everyone loves the country and loves the area. We've been treated spectacular, uh, in a spectacular way. Um, so yeah, you guys, have, for a first time, have lived up to all the hospitality and fun that Ireland is known for. And uh, obviously, early start tomorrow. Are you guys going to find a way to get some rest between now and your games next week? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we really need it. We fought two uh, battles and obviously had a lot of travel. Um, so uh, yeah, we got to get fresh again.